So the first app in the list is called App Snitch and App Snitch is an app that tells you what all applications that you have in your phone are actually communicating with external IP addresses and external servers. So for example if I take Paytm then you can see that Paytm is communicating with Facebook, it's communicating with Amazon and many other unknown IP addresses which we don't know at all. Similarly, if I open the Go, Go iBiboy application, then it's also exchanging its data with Amazon, Facebook and many other unknown IP addresses. And using AppSnitch, I actually found that every third party application that you have in your phone is exchanging some sort of data with these external servers or the external host. The sad part of AppSnitch app snitch application is that uh, it does not give you any option to actually block this kind of unnecessary communication so we have second application in the list called no root firewall so no root firewall is not a new application it's a very old one and there are chances that you may have installed this app at a certain time and then in uninstalled it because you don't know whether it really works or not so just open no root firewall go into the app section and put a double cross in front of those applications which you feel are doing some kind of unnecessary communication so in order to test whether this is really effective or not i had randomly put a double cross in front of many applications that i had in my phone so now let's take the example of SoundCloud application. So you can see that I had already double crossed this app. And now if I check this application in the app snitch, then you can see that the last communication that this was able to make was one day ago. And it was one day ago I had crossed all these applications. So this proves that the no root firewall app is really very effective and it stops a lot of data exchange between the applications that you have in your phone and those external IP addresses. I would also like to say that we don't know what kind of data is being exchanged between these apps and those external servers whether it's your personal data your bank details your credit card details or your biographic information so these two apps are entirely free on the play store and you can use them to protect a lot of uh, exchange of data between these apps and those external ips so the next app that we have in the list is called button mapper and as per its name you can actually map these hardware buttons of your phone for additional functionality just keep in mind that this app is not going to work for these kind of software buttons so as you can see in my phone that if I press the volume up button or the volume down button then they actually increase or decrease the media volume. So at the same time if I want to customize these buttons then go into the button mapper go into the volume up button and here you can see that I have customized this uh, button to actually take a screenshot if I long press. So you can see that if I long press the volume up button then it actually takes a screenshot and continue to act as the volume up button if I am pressing it continuously. So this is a I believe that this is a super convenient way to take a screenshot especially in the stock android phones so it's not just the screenshot there are tons of different actions and gestures that are built into the application which you can map to these hardware buttons apart from actions and gestures you can also launch different kind of apps that you have in your phone so for example if i long press my volume down button then it actually launches my music player so I'm using the free version of this application and it's absolutely fully functional and it does not have any kind of ad pop-ups. So just give it a try. So the next app that we have in the list is called Utter and using this application you can actually convert any sort of audio to the editable text and here is a quick demo of that. So the next application that we have in the list is called Utter and this is a kind of application through which you can convert your audio to the convertible text. As you can see that this application works really very fine. At, at present I am in a very closed environment and my fan is also working and in spite of all those noises the application is very well able to convert my audio to the editable text. So whatever I have spoken actually gets saved in the form of note and as I said that I was in a very closed room and there were a lot of noises so there may be some kind of incorrect sentences so you can actually make correction to these sentences and later on export this as an audio file or a text file or a pdf. Apart from that you can read whatever you have spoken word by word and you can also save this conversation to the cloud. So an app that can prove to be super handy to the students and also to the journalists so entirely a free app give it a try. So the last application that we have in the list is for Instagram and this is called SquareFit. So one of the very special features of this application is that it will let you upload images to your Instagram profile without cropping it from the top, bottom or any of the sides. Apart from that you can change the background color, you can add any sort of texture and also you can add a background blur. So as you can see that this image of boat is more in height as compared to width. So definitely when you will upload this kind of image to your Instagram profile you will come across white borders along the 
the sides so if you want to learn how to upload full size images on your instagram somewhat like this then definitely watch my recent video on how to upload full size images on instagram i'll drop a link in the description so this was all about the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel and i hope you like the collection of apps for this month so see you in the next one take care